<clears throat> well, praise the Lord, my friend. Uh, God bless you. This is Minister Hill. And today I want to talk about earthquakes uh, come from God. But before I get into my message, a little hymn goes like this. Here's my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Here's my cup. Fill it up and make me whole. Hallelujah. Well, praise God for another day. And thanking God for you too. And thanking God for all of you that's watching me. And a lot of people don't know. And a lot of people perish because of the lack of wisdom and knowledge. So to give you a little knowledge, earthquakes come from God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without a uh, form, and it was void, it was empty. So if God created the earth, he surely can make it shake and make it split. And not only that, he's going to uh, uh, rumble the sky one day and split the sky and come back and get Robert Hill. Now, I don't know about you, but I know he's coming to get me. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing now on YouTube so that I can go and be with the Lord one day. Amen. So once again, we're talking about earthquakes come from God. Yes, God is a good God and a merciful God. Yes, he is love and he is tolerant and long suffering with his rebellious people. But as his cre creation, he wants all of us to obey him. And he has set forth 10 commandments, only 10, for us to live by. And we as a people disobey his 10 commandments, such as in the book of Exodus, the 20th chapter and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Did y'all hear that? See, when you go against the Ten Commandments, you can expect the wrath of God to be poured out on that person, on that nation of people. Because you should not uh, uh, go against His Ten Commandments. When people, when people that God have created worship other gods, such as Buddha, uh any other type of stature, this caused God to become angry. And God is a terrible God, and he will pour out his indignation down upon earth. In the book of Psalms, the 66th verse, the 66th chapter and the 5th verse, come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doings towards the children of men. Exodus 34 and 14. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. That verse of his name is Jealous and is a jealous God. You can read that in Psalm 66, chapter and verse 5, he's a jealous God. God made man in his likeness. This is why uh, when men, they become jealous when they see the woman put another man before him. 
because we made in God's likeness. God don't want uh, us to have another God before him. And your man don't want to see you with another man before him. He will become jealous. God gets angry and cause earthquakes. And men get angry and they may do something violent towards you. Do you get my drift? It is not good to compare your pastor with your husband because more than likely your husband is working a job getting up at 4.30 in the morning. And the last thing he wants to hear is his woman boasting about a preacher. We as a people can cause God to smile on us. Also in our disobedience, we can cause God to spew us out of his mouth. When a multitude of people in other countries worship a stature, God will open the mouth of the earth and swallow them up. You are useless to God when you serve a statue or any other idol or worship a human being. You are useless to God. He can't use you. So why would he give you long life? Why would he be your covering? So, being useless, God will de destroy the people because he has no use for them. So, why let them remain on earth? Earth is our preparation place for heaven. Yes, it is. It's the preparation place for heaven. And if you are not Worshiping God on earth, you are worthless on God's earth. Korah, a priest of God, turned himself and the congregation against Moses and Arian, saying, Ye take too much upon you. This is what the priest said to the leader of God. You take too much upon you. Uh, Moses, you and Arian think that you all are all that. He said that the people are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is a, among them. So why, Moses, lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord? And when Moses heard it, he fell upon his face. Because there was a struggle between the priests being against the leaders of the people, Moses and Arian. And this thing displeased the Lord. So in Numbers, the 16th chapter, and verse 20 to the 21st verse, God said unto Moses and unto Arian, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation and this priest, that I may consume them in a moment. So in God's anger, uh, he sent an earthquake on all those high-minded priests and to the congregation of people that follow them. <clears throat> Numbers 16 and verse 31. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground above, it began to clay, the ground began to clay asunder that was under them. We get ready to go to part two in a few minutes. But the ground, in God's anger, he caused the, the ground to clay and to, uh, uh, to become asunder under them. That caused an earthquake, my friend. When, when it shakes, because it, when the earth shakes, 